ready to see the Warriors play at home against the Mavs. Now Curry has Nowitzki. We've seen Darren Williams go for seven. And Dirk got a good look there, but misfired. Now he can shoot over Steph, but just don't want him to go inside. Curry open three, right through. Amazing, Durant mishandled the dribble. Usually gives the defense time enough to recover. And even when we picked it up, Curry was still open in the corner by a big margin. Curry right down the lane. And it, this is good awareness, and you're highlighting it, Jim. Nowitzki is not a defensive center by any stretch at all. So at all. keep going inside. You'll get whatever you want. And Seth is averaging 10 points a game. Well, earlier in the year, they were playing him as off guard, the two guard. Now he's playing point. And Devin Harris hits from deep. Chopper Spectrum customers, you may lose Warrior basketball on CSN. So your chance to tell Charter you want to keep the Warriors at 844. I want CSN now. And that would be a major loss for the people with Charter Cable. You're not going to see Steph Curry hitting threes. Steph has passed Purvis Short to be seventh all-time in Warrior history with that shot. Seth Curry, a little bank shot. Well, the pick and roll, the high pick and roll is killing him so far in this first quarter. It's opened up their whole offense. Lob to JaVale. He's so long, anywhere in the vicinity, and he will conclude the play. Seth Curry launching and hitting. That's impressive. Durant closed on him, and I think a lot of shooters would be a little gun shy with a guy that long coming at him, even though you had the shot initially. That high screen roll. This time Nowitzki threw it back. Ian Clark to Curry, running with JaVale and the trailing Durant. And Curry three. Not your traditional fast break, but it works out beautifully. This team, they can still fight, vie for the playoffs. That's how he feels about things. Turn, the, turn their season around. And there's that phenomenal shooting of Nowitzki at that size. The fast break points are still 12 nothing, but even slowly, methodically, the Warriors are on a 20 to seven run to get separation and they can get whatever they want at the rim. They keep the ball in the body movement. They're getting layups everywhere. I always get a kick out of Seth and Steph guarding each other. Kind of fun is Clay Thompson. Pachulia is setting such good screens tonight. He was a former Maverick, played some of his best basketball a year ago under yes. Rick Carlisle, but Clay is wide open on these shots. Jeff got a piece of that. Reflection, they really help. Draymond on the kick out. And Curry three is perfect. I don't understand there. Darren Williams had another partner back, another defender, and he left Steph Curry. Steph had picked up the dribble. JaVale's got his brother, and he dunks on Devin Harris. Seth, Seidel, and Stefan all together. It's nice to see. Sure is. The Curry kids. Rosino's a very good shooter. And so Iguodala had to stay attached to him. Seth and Curry dropping in the three. That Curry, Curry kid's not a bad shooter either, is he? Uh-oh. Yep. Well, Mark, Mark waited. David West has done that twice tonight. So Durant just had a triple-double backing up his five-block night where he had 17 boards. First time in his career he had back-to-back -back rebounding nights of 15 or more, so he could make it three straight. He's got 11 boards tonight. Powell will get the freebie. Steph Curry bottoming a deep two. Bringing the guys are here at Oracle, getting ready for Honda Post Game Live. And they will be talking about the Warriors going 72 and 12 in 2016, 72 and 12 in 2015, 29 and 5, and still the NBA's best record on an evening when Kevin Durant put up a triple-double. 